Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, girl, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come on through the beauty, girl, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, baby. Somebody is getting a new home and you need to cleanse it of the energy, okay? We had that one fall out. Clear that energy out, girl. Uh, if you would like a personal reading for me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, girl, don't be afraid to go ahead and hit me up, girl. Yeah. DFTarot and Cash Out or PayPal. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Listen. All I can tell you, somebody is hating, somebody acting funny. That's the energy that I'm getting right out the gate. Um, this may be a group of women or a woman, but I'm just getting it's some karmic feminine. They acting ugly uh, towards the divine, whether it's friendship. Girl, I don't know what's going on, but we're about to go ahead and look and see what's going on, okay? Because something ain't, something ain't something. Something ain't something, man gong okay an exciting event okay ants work achievements bow you are highly thought of baby this this kit uh, picture did already come clear leg stepping into a new experience bread period of prosperity and abundance you see here you are highly thought of Somebody is coveting these experiences as it relates to you, okay? And this person has, it's like they want to take these events. Somebody, highly you're highly thought of in their mind. Um, somebody is looking at you because notice we got bow right in the middle. So somebody is trying to, I don't know if so you think somebody might be trying to rub these experiences in your face based on, you probably already have these things. You might have already had a graduation or a reunion or whatever you had, a trip, You've already had whatever success. Somebody has already had what this person has had, and yet they hate me. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, Ram, a stubborn and aggressive person. Um, somebody is trying to categorize you as such. You may have Venus in Aries. You may be in Aries. Um, there is some type of Aries or fire sign energy, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries energy around you. And somebody is trying to kind of villainize you um, and say that you are somebody that you just are not necessarily. Um, spiritual love, y'all. Somebody thinks you're very beautiful. You guys may have had a falling out or something like that in September. Okay. And now here they are like they want to show off to you. Um, this person really envies or admires you though. And they're trying to show off to you. Okay, what they've done or what they're on or what they're all about. Somebody is trying to show off, show out um, based on something that went down in, in September. Hidden secrets. This person has a hidden resentment or a hidden secret or a hidden feeling about you. Okay. Be careful of interacting with this person. Okay, because they got something on their mind that they're not saying. And they'll try to recast you in their life if you get back involved with them, okay? You will be playing a different role. This person will try to now treat you differently or put you in a different space. Don't lower your standards. This person will try to put you in their life and demote you. See, let me tell you what's going on. Somebody up here that envies you, they think you're beautiful. They're trying to say that you did something to them. Instead of them admitting that they're envious or jealous or whatever the hell, they're trying to say that you did some shit to them that you didn't even do. They're trying to say that you you were being aggressive. You, 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 you know what you did. All because they have their hidden resentment. And if you were to continue to be around them based on whatever went down a few months ago, if you were to continue to be involved with this person, they would try to recast you as the flunky in the relationship, treating you like they had to keep gaslighting you, okay? They got to keep a lid on you. This For some, some of y'all, this is already a cycle that has started. They're making you feel like they got to keep a lid on you because you wild out. They're trying to rub their little accomplishments in your face and trying to make you feel small. And you're like, where the hell is this even coming from, okay? You don't even know where this is coming from. And they're trying to make you apologize for whatever fiery or fire sign energy you might be feisty, fire sign energy you possess. They can't handle it. They're intimidated by it. So what they're trying to do is gaslight you into thinking that you need to tone it down. 
This is just so they can exist around you because low-key they respect the shit out of you because they don't have the balls to come out and talk like you talk anyway. Okay, point blank, period. Okay, so let's see flowers here. This person feels like you have a better chance at happiness than they do. And for them, they're miserable. They're trying to tell themselves that, you know, maybe my life will get better tomorrow. But in the meantime, they feel like your life is giving something today. Okay, they feel like you having good luck by before I leave Clover today. And somebody is mad as hell about this, okay? Because they got problems, but they feel like your problems are temporary problems. Somebody feels like they just ain't shit. I'm telling you how they feel about themselves. Stop laughing, okay? They feel like they just ain't shit, okay? And they're sitting back feeling away about any good fortune that you have, okay? This person is in a financial pinch, girl. They in a financial pinch. Listen, this person is in a pinch and they can't accept no kind of criticism. Girl, this person going through it. This person is now the forces that are acting against you, okay? They're jealous. You may have had a problem. The problem cleared up. You're back to doing well, looking well, doing good. This person may have just recently seen you for the first time or they could be peeking on your social media and they don't, you're looking good to them. They feel like you look good. Okay, they have a thing about your looks. I don't know if they like you, they're attracted to you, or if they just have a thing about your looks. They believe your looks will create opportunities for you, maybe opportunities for you to get more men than they can get, whatever the case may be, or they think you can model. They think you're beautiful and they don't think you deserve this. Okay, this person is delusional. Okay, beware of self-delusion. This person is delusional. They're jealous. There may be a gift or something that you just received. It could be a, some type of jewel, a diamond, a job. It could be anything. This person doesn't think you deserve these things, okay? They're very jealous. They think you're, you're just always able to get over and do well, even without them in your life. You may have moved on. Some of y'all have already moved on from this person, and they're pissed off. It looks like your life is going just fine without them in it. They're mad as hell, Okay? They want recognition for being in your life. This person is like, I want you to tell me I'm amazing. I want you to change something in your life for me, okay? Bottom of the deck, broken bridge. Somebody has really tore their ass with you. Now, I'm just going to tell you the truth. Somebody, uh, the way they've acted, the way they're behaving, they really tore their ass with you and they're not able to really get a hold to you, get you on the phone. This person is envious of you and what they want is to be able to get some type of validation or recognition from you about themselves. Somebody is really caught up in trying to feel like they want to feel like you're running behind them. They want to feel like they're someone you want to be with, okay? This person is watching you from secret accounts. Low-key, they are a fan of yours. Is somebody that's a goddamn fan? Girl, this person is a fan. And they just can't let it go. They can't cope. They may be looking at how your life is going and they feel they're secluded in their own life and secluded from your life, okay? And this person may feel like this is bad news for them to know that you just said, fuck you, okay? Um, this person may believe you are a twin flame of something or something of them and they feel like you're playing, like you don't know what they know. You know how I feel about you, okay? This could be romantic or it could just be possessiveness in general, this could be someone you had an intimate relationship with once, and that's all it was. You was like, okay, we fucked around one night. I'm, I'm not. What was your name? Uh, uh Carl, uh, Tanya, DK. Child, you don't remember who was a man's name? What was that? What was your JT, TJ, Loretta, girl, whoever you are? How you doing? Okay, but this person feels like you should be giving them more. It could be a friend that feels like we've known each other for so many years, and I just feel like we should be closer. Whatever the case is, somebody has the wrong damn idea about you, sis. Okay? Somebody has the wrong idea about you, okay? This could be, this one could be a male or a feminine in the divine collective. Somebody has the wrong idea about you, and they're upset, and they're trying to frame you in their mind as somebody that has done something to them, and they need to get down on you and put you in your place. Okay, this person has played a lot of games with you, okay, pretending that they have a lot going on. Oh, yeah, I'm traveling. I have a lot going on because they feel like you're the queen bee. 
Okay? And you just walk the fuck out on them. Now, let me tell you something about this. Because this is your energy right here. And we're about to go ahead and get into it. Queen B, goodbye. You are the type... This person didn't realize you kind of don't give a shit about the stuff they give a shit about. That's the first place in the thing where things went wrong. You don't care. Somebody is going through a whole lot of, lot of emotional turmoil over you and about you and you do not care. Straight like that. They got all these feelings and things they feeling about you and oh, it's like this, it's like that. Baby, you don't care about that. They want to stun on you. They want to make a scene. They want to make a splash. You, I ain't going to say it again. <laughs> you do not care. You do not care, baby. I know it's some three of swords energy going to show up in here eventually. Somebody is heartbroken about the shits that you do not give. This person wanted you to be committed to being invested in them. King of Wands, King of Swords. Somebody wanted y'all to be some type of a twosome. Okay, a committed to to some me and you, we together. We like the city girls or some shit like that. You know, we out here together. Period. Okay, somebody was looking for that type of tea. Um, they wanted y'all to be tight, eight of swords, jammed together, best friends, seven of pentacles, going out, maybe scheming and scamming together, girl, planting seeds together, gossiping together. Somebody really wanted that. Okay, Queen of Wands and the lover, they may or lovers, they either had a romantic interest in you themselves or they thought it would be cool, like y'all be out here looking for men together, looking for ladies together, whatever the case may be, y'all surfing the bars together, oh yeah, we out here, girl, and this ain't that, and that ain't this, and that's where you at with it, it's kind of like, I'm not... Girl, I'm not doing that. I don't even, I'm not that taken with you like that. Okay, the fact that in their mind, you're blocking this closeness that they believe y'all have. It's like, why are you making this difficult? Ten of Swords, they feel like you really are putting a knife in their back. Let me tell you something. Whoever this person is, they feel like you're doing a whole lot of shit to them, girl. You're not doing none of that. And I know that just by looking at this Queen B goodbye energy. You really are the types that just give zero, you know, you don't give an a and F. You don't care. You, you don't give a fuck, really. It's like you're not doing all these things to this person because you don't care enough about them to do that. But this person feels like you've been putting knives in their back, ten of swords energy. And it's because they felt y'all was supposed to be in this unhealthy attachment. What you would consider an unhealthy attachment, four of wands, four of cups. Here they are feeling like y'all should be in the four of wands. Y'all should be tight, celebrating together, kicking it together, doing everything together. And you're, you feel like, bitch, what's your name again? Like four of cups, you don't care. So this person feels like they deserve it to you to bring justice to your door. And they're making plans. So this person is in a, a energy of revenge. You need to be aware of that so you don't get too involved with this person. This person is in an energy of revenge when it comes to you. And you need to be aware of that so you don't get too involved with this person. I'm just going to say that again. Um, do not trust this person. This person just wants to come around you so they can show off and stunt. They're jealous of you. They feel like you always get it easier than them. They feel like you're better looking than them. But I think if you had been in a tight, we so tight, we so clicked up crew with this person, City Girls Energy with this person, I think that this person would have been able to somewhat accept the fact that they feel you're better than them. Um, because we're lateral if we hang together. But this this kind of nonchalance, this four of cups energy that you're in when it comes to this person, this queen be goodbye, four of cups, like I really don't care one way or the other, energy that you have related to this person really makes this person feel like they just don't mean anything to you, okay? And they're not taking it well, for lack of a, you know, they're just not taking this well. Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles. This person feels like you've left them out in the cold, okay? Um, Knight of Cups energy. They feel like you left them out in the cold for someone else in particular. Um, they also feel like you have a full cup of love in your life. They feel like someone else loves you. They're jealous of whoever this is that loves you. This person is jealous as hell that this other person loves you, okay? They're jealous, they're upset, they feel like it's not fair. Um, they feel like you don't, th this is love, it should belong to them. Why, why isn't this person filling my cup? Why are they filling theirs? Six of Swords energy, 
okay? Six of Swords energy is coming through. This person really wanted your relationship to transition and transition fast. They also felt like you should have been providing them with some type of sense of security, okay? Ace of Cups. This person really wanted you to love, admire, and adore them. And it is because of anybody you've been wondering why this person is, is like on some weirdo shit with you, like why they're acting funny, moving funny in a funny energy. The reason that this person is moving like this with you is because they admire and adore you and they're jealous of you. So because they admire and adore you and they're jealous of you, they want you to admire and adore them and be jealous of them. I'm literally seeing pearls and diamonds. Like this person thinks you think of yourself as a diva, a prima donna, boom, bang, pow, baby, you do, queen B. goodbye, hello, like you're that girl. But it would mean everything to them if one of those girls that was that girl was like admiring them, okay? If you one of them guys, baby, it mean everything to them if one of them guys is one of them guys was telling them they was the shit. Somebody wants you to kind of diminish your light by worshiping them to prove to them that they have light. If somebody like you admires me, I must be the shit. So this person was trying to steal your energy, okay? Um, indirectly, in a sense, this person was looking to steal your energy. That is their true colors shining through. Okay, this is somebody that loves you a little too much. They're in a love-hate dynamic with you. On one hand, they feel like you're family, but on the other hand, they feel like shit when they're around you. So this is total jealousy. This person may have actually ghosted you and you just didn't care. Okay, this person might have actually disappeared on you and you didn't care. You too busy praying and taking care of you and doing you. While this person, on the other hand, has been under pressure the entire time that you gave no fuck. Like they might have been trying to manipulate you by walking out and trying to get you to love them and prove that they're the shit. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. This is very much it's narcissistic energy all over this. You didn't sweat this person. You didn't run behind them. You didn't do any of that. So because you didn't do any of that. Girl, they didn't take that well. <laughs> they did not take that well, okay? They just didn't. It is what it is, okay? This person feels like you was out there treating them like a bald-headed stepchild, baby. Y'all see that love child energy. The truth is, this person is in Jezebel energy, and that's where this is coming from. Um, what did this person want to have? Spirit seeking clarity? Because I'm going to tell you something right now. This isn't somebody that you want to stay in close cahoots with. Um, this person is weird. They're a little obsessed with you and they're, they're a weirdo low key. Okay. So this isn't somebody that you want to keep in your, uh, circle. Um, there's some problems with this person. We see this Jezebel energy. They're trying to control you. How they plan to control, baby, I'm seeing dark feminine energy coming all up on this board. Um, and I'm seeing divine feminine energy come up on this board. How they thought they was going to control either of those energies. Your guess is as good as mine. But this person was hoping to uh, get control of the situation and control you and control what you do and do not do. What was it they were hoping for? I'm kind of just looking to see, girl, what you thought was going to happen. Okay, what outcome was this person sitting there hoping and praying for? Because I know it was some bullshit. Three of swords, okay? No, five of swords, okay? And the devil. And the knight of pentacles. And the star. Pause. You know, this person was competing with you at a very high level. And they just hope to possess you. Jezebel energy, once again, this person was basically a rival. It's basically a rival that is looking to compete with you, Okay? And they were hoping that you would make them some kind of offering, okay, which would which would uh, exalt them. This person wanted you, as I just said, to exalt them. Okay, this is somebody that is jealous of you, that thinks of you as the top dog, and wants to prove to themselves that they're the top dog by getting you to exalt them. This has become, this person wants to be your master. That's literally what I just heard. Six of Pentacles, okay. Um, this is giving very much frenemy. <laughs> this person wants to be your master. They want you to give to them. Okay. And they want you to give and give and give and choose them to be the person to give to. They also want you to beg from the, the, the fruit or the meats or whatever of their table. Okay. So you look at this and what they were trying to manifest in your life. This person, this empress energy, this person is an empress and tower energy. And that is what they were planning to manifest in your life is tower energy. 
Um, this is a very um, tragic kind of figure. Whoever this person is, how you may know them is that they look really put together on the outside. They may speak well, they may dress well, they may even make nice money or hang around the right people. But once you get to know them, this person's life is just covered in a lot of demonic misery. That's where this Jezebel energy is coming from. This person may look like the type of person you want to know, but they are karmic as hell. This is a karmic energy through and through. Um, we see with this Six of Cups. This person is a survivor of some type of childhood trauma. There's a lot of pride and arrogance attached to this person, okay? This person is, is, is a lot of duality. They're presenting as a light energy. They are very dark energy. Um, this energy that's coming off of them is very vampiric. Um, mm -mm. This energy, this person's energy is very sour, okay? That's the perfect word. It's just a sour energy, okay? Um, we're just grabbing some more cards. This is a very sour energy. You're not really going to be able to get anywhere. I don't think you care to anyway, just to be all the way real with you. I don't think you care to get anywhere with this person. I don't think this is somebody that you were looking to be in any particular type of relationship with y'all. I don't see it. I do not see it. I don't think you was trying to keep this person around. That's what they're crying about. They stopped calling one day or they stopped visiting. You was like, mm, whatever. Life goes on. Y'all, if this was a situation where you was into me and you was like, oh, mm, whatever. I don't even really remember that girl. I had too, many, too much tequila. Okay, it was, it was that type of shit. Um, you know, whatever type of relationship this may have been, this person has not been able to let this go. It's kind of a fatal attraction type of energy whether it was romantic or sexual or just platonic and friendship, there's a fatal attraction energy that is present in this reading. And this person just has not been able to let go of the fact that you just don't, you, you never was holding on to them in the first place. I mean, I'm just, I'm just to be all the way honest with you about it. Okay. It's like, listen, I, I can take a leave you, honey. Okay. So we see the wizard here. Okay. Use your skills to aid others. Again, you have a lot of dark feminine energy. Um, you've never told this woman any of your real secrets. She can't really get too far with it. Um, be meticulous. Be patient. You are very good at whoever you are. Somebody is using silence or they're using their uh, maybe the way you dress or what you do or where you go to play games with this person's mind and kind of keep them confused. Um, you are shielded spiritually because you kind of understand how to use glamour magic, silence, and different things to kind of keep this person at bay. Um, so what is the ultimate result of this person? Because first and foremost, they're the only person invested in this. This is this is they got some shit going on in their mind, and ain't nobody in it but them. And uh somebody has been thinking about you way too hard. Okay, healing, genius soul okay these are energies that are associated with you so whoever you are male or female you have very 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 high ranking intuition and feminine energy attached to you okay um and this is why you're not fretting over this what do you care you know what i'm saying you you very you know how to do it you're very tapped into your uranus energy um, you understand that things can happen at a dime in a moment. You are kind of immune to tower energy. There's so many wild ass things that come in contact or come through Uranus energies, all types of accidents and shocks and all types of shit like that. You're not caught up in this. He's like, oh my God, you just don't really care. So this person does not have the ability to really be that effective when it comes to you. Okay. And this is something that they're going to have to deal with. You don't care about that. That's a her problem. 
okay? This person is most likely a water sign, okay? And it is their destiny in this particular situation um, to kind of just watch you walk away, okay? I'm just going to tell you where you go, okay? I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. Again, we see fire sign energy, and it's associated with you in this particular reading. So whatever the case is in this, however this goes, this person is in a situation where they just go kind of find themselves watching you walk off. You don't really give a shit about them anyway. You never did. Okay, not enough for you to abandon yourself. There's a certain amount of vanity attached to this. Queen B, um, energy that you have, baby, you kind of like, uh, I'm her. I just don't care what's going on with you. I really don't. Um, ultimately, this person is over there and it's this wasted ass Jezebel energy. Okay, um, period. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Um, this person is, is attempting to sit in the background and do a lot of sneaking and snaking and game playing and different things like that. Um, the truth of the matter when it comes to that is that this person is just kind of holding on to a lot of resentment, um, trying to hold on to you because they think there's some security and a new beginning coming from you and there is not. This person is in a hell of their own making. If you just want to get right down to it, they're holding on to what is a dead idea. There is nothing more coming from you. They will never get the reaction from you they are looking for. They will never get the opportunity to stunt on you that they think they're going to get. Um, you're way too high up, in, in, you know, frequency wise. You're also too vain and you're also too disinterested. You don't care what is going on with this person. This person is a sucker to you. You don't care what they're doing. You don't care who they're dating. And they put all this energy into you that really, to be honest, just alchemize it. It's just proof that you got a crown on your head. Like, who are we fooling? Okay, this is just proof that you're the shit. Um, somebody has sat back and got all in their Jezebel energy. And the whole time, you Teflon. So they're really not able to touch you with this bullshit. Um, they really don't know who you are and what you're all about. Okay, first off. First of off, <laughs> this person don't even know what you all about. So a lot of this is going to get lost and it's going to dissipate in the astral. They will never be able to manifest this tower in your life. Now, remember what this Jezebel energy does is go around manifesting towers in people's lives. We saw that with the Empress Tower energy that they're carrying. This person will never be able to do that shit to you. It's just the way it is. Um, they will injure themselves. This person is going to get extreme spiritual blowback for trying to aim this Jezebel bullshit your way in the first place. Um, they are going to get serious blowback. You know, uh, there is a way to use Jezebel energy to your benefit. This ain't it. Baby, this ain't it. This lady just finna, you know, catch a whole heap of shit at her own front door playing games. Uh, page of Wands. Page of Wands, I said. I said page wands. <laughs> page of wands. This woman is in a nine of wands with this page of wands energy. She is creating for herself what you basically could call a poor message, a misadventure, blowback, negativity. What you put out comes right back to you times three. Okay, what she tried to do to you, she's only doing to herself. Ace of pentacles with the five of cups and the temperance card. This woman has compromised herself and created a karmic uh, energy in her own life. Okay. Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. This is a karmic, this is karmic feminine, damn it. If the cards could say karmic feminine to us out loud, it would be an Ace of Pentacles with a Five of Cups. This is a karmic feminine. She's going to find herself in grief because she's compromised herself in an attempt to basically what she wanted to do was run you, like put you in a situation where she runs you in the house. You don't want to come outside. You feel bad about yourself. And this is projection. The truth is she wants to run in the house every time she sees you. She doesn't want you outside because you being outside makes her feel bad about being outside. She doesn't want you to be out here shining because for every bitch who shines, she remembers that she's a dark character. So there's a lot of projection here. This woman is trying to make you feel low because she knows already you're high. Okay. She feels like you're higher than her. We pull up that immediately. She already sees that in you and for you. Girl, what you want? What you want me to do? I'm sorry. Okay, that's all you can tell somebody like this. This person is in their own private misery. What did I just tell you? Shame, guilt, embarrassment. They know they're in the wrong. Okay, 
there's an issue of self-love with this person. They're living in shame. They're not living in a space of self-love. Um, they're living in the moment. They're letting their feelings just send them off the deep end. They're consistently giving love, hate, energy to the people around them. Karmic, like I said, Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. This person is filled with grief and jealousy. And they're trapped in, I'm going to say it again, their own internal hell going round and around and around. Really don't, round and round we go. Okay, going round and round. And these circles and cycles being triggered and all this different shit. Notice all the problems that this woman is having and you just out here living your life. Okay? Just to talk about how somebody can be stuck in their own private hell. You, you, you don't have anything to do with this. Okay? This person is sat back while you over there just, you know, doing you, dressed, resting, successful. Okay? This person is over there... Every time you go on social media and just be like, oh, I just ate a cupcake, they want to die and shit like that. <laughs> this person is got some really deep problems that have nothing to do with you. However, this person is somebody that may be coming and going from your life. This is how you will recognize them. They come, they go, they're cool with you. They're not cool with you. Y'all had a disagreement in September. Now here they come trying to beat the drum, you know, and get back in your life. They're only doing it for negative reasons. And their ultimate goal is to recast you as the Ahab of their story. Somebody they're controlling and running and knocking all of the pop and shine off of. This person's delusional as hell. Leave them in their private misery and keep shining. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tigger, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay, do not be afraid to come on through the vinegar and hit that bell. Yeah. You want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with these good old tarot messages no matter what, girl. Um, if you want a personal reading from me, like I said, dftarot at gmail.com. As I always say, y'all feed the tarot reader, okay? You just want to send a little wedge of cheese or something. You just want a little wedge of cheese. I don't ask for much, okay? Send your little donation, your little cheese donation over to dftarot at Cash App or PayPal. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.